Hello everyone, Neil Tappin here from Golf Monthly and welcome to Bishopsgate International Junior Golf Academy where today we are testing a cheap wedge up against an expensive one. How much does the price you pay affect the performance you get? That's what we're going to find out in this video. Now the Inesis Wedge went into a decathlon store and bought this for £29.99 and the Callaway MD5 the Jaws wedge that I've got here, this will set you back around about £149. So £120 difference between these two wedges. And don't forget, if you are in the market for wedges, you're probably going to be buying more than one. So they are an, inve an expensive investment, or at least they can be. The question is, if you did go for something that was just going to cost you £30, what exactly will you be giving up on? Let's go and find out. Okay, so the first category we're going to take a look at is the looks. And if you're going to spend somewhere in the region of £150 on a wedge, then you certainly want it to look good. And the truth is the Callaway MD5 certainly does look absolutely stunning. It's a classic kind of sort of teardrop shape, uh, quite high in the toe, I'd say. I love the way that it looks down behind the ball. It feels like it's really, I feel like it's really versatile. Like I can open the face up, close it down, hit lots of different short game shots with it. And the finish on it, that chrome finish is absolutely superb. I also think it looks fantastic in the bag from that view. So how does the inner assist stack up? Well, the truth is what the designers have done here is to keep it incredibly simple. And I think that's a really good thing. There is nothing to put you off about this wedge. Down behind the ball, it has this sort of slightly duller matte gray finish. I think that's really smart. Um, it has a slightly thicker top line and a more generous hitting area. The sort of thing that a beginner golfer or a higher handicapper is actually going to, I, I think, really appreciate. It's a slightly a more confidence inspiring look, I think. Uh, but generally speaking, it's not quite as eye catching. Of course it's not as the Callaway MD5, but is it offensive? No, absolutely not. I think this looks uh, really simple, really classic and I think anybody could play it. Yeah, I'm going to hit a couple of shots with each wedge and talk about the feel that you can expect. Um, with the Callaway MD5, it is a, it's such a classic looking wedge and the feel that you get is kind of that ultra soft and smooth through the ball. I mean, I caught that a fraction thin but it still felt really good through the ball. You know you're gonna get a lot of spin when you hit it straight out of the middle of the club. Um, it's, it's just beautiful. It's really soft and silky through the impact. Um, so the question is, I mean, it's exactly what you would expect, what we would expect from a premium wedge. It's fantastic, but how does the Innesis compare? Well, the first thing I'll say is as soon as you pick it up, it does feel a little bit heavier, but does the sound through impact, does it sound a little bit higher, higher pitched maybe. When I was testing it indoors on the launch monitor, I thought I could detect immediately that it was a little bit louder. I felt that it, it was a little bit of a firmer contact. But since hitting it out here on the golf course, I'm sort of readjusting how I feel about it. I, I, I'm not so sure it, it really does. Maybe a hint. Do you think you can pick up on any differences in terms of the sound of those two wedges? I mean, if I was choosing one for feel, I definitely would go for the Callaway MD5. But this Inesis wedge is pretty good. It doesn't feel, as I say, you're only paying 30 pounds for this and it's good to know that it doesn't feel terrible through the ball. It still feels pretty smooth and it feels like you're getting a good amount of spin when you strike them well. Okay, live on course test time. Uh, we've come out to a yardage of about 70 yards. I'm hitting to that little flag that you can see here. Actually, uh, Bishopsgate, where we're shooting this, is an incredible uh, training facility uh, for junior golfers to really kind of dial in their games. And there's little greens with like putting greens and chipping greens all over the place. So this is the one we're using. I've got 70 yards and I'm gonna hit six shots with the Callaway and six with the Inesis. I'm gonna hit the Callaway, I'm gonna use the yellow Pro V1s and the white Pro V1s for the Inesis. And I'm gonna hit them, um, I'm gonna hit the Callaway and then the Inesis, then the Callaway, then the Inesis, do it like that. And I'll get back to you at the end with some results. Duffs, shanks, thins, they all stay in.
Oh no. No, no, no. Oh no. That was not a good shot. Okay, all done. Let's go and find out how we got on. Okay, so testing complete. And I would say honours fairly even actually. So I was using the yellow balls I was using with the uh, MD5 and the two closest were with the Callaway MD5. But as you can see, the inner assist helped more than held its own. The only really bad shot I hit, I was actually quite surprised, I only hit one really terrible shot was a duff. And that was also with the MD5. So it goes to show you, if you do pay a lot of money for your golf equipment, it doesn't stop you hitting very bad golf shots. One thing that was also very noticeable in that little test there was just how well the in assist was spinning. The shot was 70 yards, it was slightly into the breeze, so you would expect a reasonable amount of spin. But the, the in assist, just by sight, just by the sort of feel of the shots I was hitting, seemed to be spinning just as much as the Callaway MD5. So a really interesting little test, totally unscientific, take it all with a, a pinch of salt. However, I would say that the in assist more than held its own. So I have tested both of these wedges indoors uh, at Foresight Sports headquarters in Guildford uh, using the GC Quad Launch Monitor and Pro V1 X Golf Balls. And what I did was uh, I had both the wedges I have are 56 degrees and they were both new when I did the test. And I hit a succession of 50 yard shots and I hit a whole host of 100 yard shots with both of the same wedges just to see if I could detect any differences. And I'm going to start with that 100 yard shot. And what you're really looking out for here, I think, is anything that really screams out in the data about the in assist that doesn't quite stack up, that looks strange. And I'm just going to show you all the data now and you can see that it's pretty similar, very similar actually, across the board. So both shots, as I say, I was trying to hit them, carry them 100 yards, and you're looking really at that spin rate. And yes, the Callaway does spin a little bit more, but when I say a little bit, I mean a little bit, not very much at all. They both launch very similarly, uh, 31 degrees for the Callaway, 30 degrees for the Inesis. Uh, and to be honest with you, when I was testing it on the launch monitor, I, the, the consistency I was getting from both wedges was comparable. Then I hit some shots that went 50 yards. And I think here you can start to see a little bit of a difference between the two wedges. Look at the spin number in particular. You'll notice the Callaway was spinning at 7140 versus just 6280. So not a huge amount of difference, but it is there. There is a difference there. And I think it goes to show that when you're hitting shorter shots, that 50 yard shot that I was hitting here, you are giving up a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit on spin control. Now, you would expect to be giving up something if you were putting a wedge into the play that was only 30 pounds versus something that was 150 pounds. And if you're gonna do that, it's good to see that the, what you're giving up on is not vast. There's not a huge gulf between these two wedges, either in the full shot or in the half shot. I would say that on the launch monitor testing that I did using a premium golf ball, the performance of the Inesis was pretty good. Okay, so on to the all important overall verdict. And you know, actually over the years, I have had the chance to do a lot of equipment testing. And this has been one of the most enjoyable equipment tests I've done. I quite like putting quite cheap golf equipment through its paces just to see if people who do invest in that, just to see what they get for their money. And this one has been really revealing and it's been revealing because Inesis, I think have done a great job. Before I get onto the Inesis, I just want to have a quick word about the Callaway MD5. This is, absolutely a premium wedge in terms of the way that it looks, in terms of the way that it performs, how it spins, how it feels around the green. This is an excellent wedge, make no mistake about it. And if you are looking for great looking wedges that perform brilliantly, then investing in these, you're gonna to have to spend a few quid, but you won't be disappointed. However, the in assist wedge, I was expecting at some point to hit this and think I'm really, really giving up on something. And at no point did that happen. Uh, the four shots I hit into the green, as you saw, they spun up really nicely. It performed well in the launch monitor. I like the way that it felt. I also like that really simple look. So I think what the designers have done with this wedge is agreed to do something with no frills attached. They've not tried to kind of reinvent the wheel. They've just done something that is not going to put any golfer off. I think they've done a great job. I like that dull gray look to it. Um, there's not really much more I can say. I think this is a very impressive product. The only downside I can think of 
is something that I've started to notice at the end of the day's testing, just a, a little bit of wear on the face, much more so, I'd say, than with the Callaway. This Inasys wedge is starting to scuff up a little bit on the, on the face. What that means in terms of the long-term performance of this wedge, I'm not so sure. Perhaps you might be giving up on a little bit more spin a bit sooner in its lifespan, but let's not forget, you're only paying 30 pounds for this. The grip is fine. It's not brilliant, but it's absolutely fine. Uh, the feel is really good, and it has that sort of generous hitting area, slightly thicker top line that I think higher handicappers, beginners, are actually going to really appreciate. So, full marks to Inesis for producing a product that I think a lot of golfers could put into play. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please do leave some comments below. What do you think about this wedge? Is it something that you think you could put into play? I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. If you've liked the video, please do hit the like button as well. That's it from Bishopsgate for now. We'll see you next time.